fucking serious. She's got the suit on. Oh, this is the suit. I think this is this is my avatar suit. <laughs> That's right, right? It does look like Got invited by our friends on One Life to do a little hunting while exploring on the sound side. We don't get days like this very often in the Bahamas. The wind has shut down to near zero. So we can go out to where it's normally super duper rough and have a peek around. Sharks are already circling. <laughs> That's a good sign. And they're the small sharks, so I'm a little spooked, I have to say. Because the juveniles don't know yet that they don't like you. And I look like a fish. <laughs> like a fish. <laughs> I look like a fish. A big fish. Good just to be in the water and dive deep and practice my free dive skills. Usually when I go down my ears start to hurt so I was really practicing trying to equalize on the way down. It's getting better. I need a good dive belt. And then lounging. Lounging? Ooh, there you go. Baywatch. Superman. Superwoman. That's your Baywatch suit. Got my Baywatch. Just spectacular. One thing about the Bahamas though, you've got to keep your guard up, especially in the Exumas. The Bahamas aren't really part of the Caribbean. They have a mostly tropical climate, except for the middle of winter. Cold fronts sweep through, the winds change, and big storms are possible. Thunderstorms, of course, are a big concern because of lightning strikes, but it's really the wind change that causes most of our headaches. The Exumas are a long stretch of skinny islands and keys that protect from the tropical trade winds coming in from the east and the southeast. So on the west side of the islands, protection is great. But when the winds shift south, or any component of west, you're left wide open, except in a few spots. Our favorite area is bounded by the Brigantines to the south and Lee Stocky Island to the north. All right, we just moved across the uh, water here from the Williams area to hide from the strong south winds. We're off the Brigantine Keys. Ah, it's quite a line of storms. Off Florida today, our friends were just coming in from an 11 day trip up from Grenada and uh, got 60 knots as they were coming into uh, Lauderdale. So this line means business. It's gonna arrive here at three, four in the morning, I think. Sure to be a long night with thunder and lightning. As I've talked about before, one of our biggest fears aboard Clarity is a lightning strike. Not so much that we would sink or be injured, but that our season be pretty much over. So I'm watching the skies very carefully as fronts approach.
probably know this, but there are many types of lightning, and the most dangerous is a cloud to ground strike. Most of the strikes this night were cloud to cloud, so less threat to our mast and our boat. No big deal. Nice and protected. Looks like the wind is even coming from a little north, northeast. So we're doing good. Ah, it's a nice relief. It's no big deal. And you got the spare part? going over to our friends on Blown Away and we're able to return the favor. They broke a batten receptacle and we just happened to have a spare from our old sail. So we're going to return some of the parts we borrowed from them and give them this part. I am. I know. It's the tropics. What are you doing? I'm talking yeah. to talking yeah. my mom yeah. last night. <laughs> my mom's like, yeah, it's really warmed up. It's sunny here in Portland. It's 47 <laughs> and I'm, ta I'm talking to her on speakerphone I'm, I'm actually in the salon like this and I'm like Megan how what's the temperature she's like 78 <laughs> we love it we love the I'm fact soft. that you're so sensitive <laughs> in so soft. many ways uh, oh yeah oh look at that but, uh, oh it's Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that is the best. Oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. Well, that's some good timing. I'm glad I could return the favor. I know. It's chilly. That uh, cold front came through with a bang and dried everything up, which is really nice. But it's it's a little chilly out. I'm just watching the, the moon set, the full moon set and the sun come up. Looks like a gorgeous, gorgeous day. But yeah, we've had to get all the blankets out again because <laughs> we've gone soft. Just making some coffee, doing the final touches on the video, and then thinking about what the next video is gonna be about. Oh, uh, let's go get some firewood and have a fire tonight. Sounds fun. I got some paper goods to burn. Do we have any marshmallows? No marshmallows. What about chocolate bars? We have chocolate bars. <laughs> Maybe we should have one just to get us going. Chocolate first. Chocolate first and after. Now let's see your catch. Here's my catch. My catch. Oh, that's something. Here's his gun. You oh, that'll start catch. a fire. I'll take it over the beach now. What are you going to miss the most about the Bahamas? The ease. It is very easy here. Even when it's hard, it's easy. <laughs> I'm going to miss this water.
a nice little mound you got there. Go for it. Raffia. <laughs> How long do you want the party to last? That. That's gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> I just walked on coals. <laughs> like uh fire starter. Tony Robinson. Tony Ro it was no big deal. She walks, walks right through it. And I got a present. You bring it? Sugar beet. I can't believe this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. You're so welcome. Oh, wow. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Okay. Have a trade. Here you go. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you very yeah. much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Good trade. Yeah. Oh, thank my you. God. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to come for tacos tonight? Or? Tacos here? Tacos here. Oh, Adam. So it's his. Clarity is coffee powered for sure. Whoa. It's coffee it's heaven. It's coffee time. Ooh. I think we can relax now. We have enough coffee like three weeks worth we did figure out we go through a decaf once every two and a half days because we both drink decaf and we have several cups a day arts and crafts <laughs> all right this is the sea deck repair the pads that are out in the sun only stick to the deck for about two years, two seasons. Found this 3M 300 LSE stuff on Amazon. It's basically the stickum part of a sticker. And so you stick it down to the pad and then re-adhere it. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone here. I can't believe what I just heard. This is, whoa, careful with that knife there. Now, what did you say? I said, I'm gonna make these cookies and this is the first time in a long time where I am not gonna have any of these amazing treats. And that's because I've turned over a new leaf. Once again, <laughs> cue the video. No, not her first cookie. Monster. You're witnessing an attic in action. I am addicted to flour and sugar. Uh-huh. Yeah, and okay. I just want more and more oh, and more. Oh, well, okay. So I have decided, decision, decision is important. I've decided to cut it out. And I can clear a bunch of real estate in my brain. I don't have to think about, oh, when can I have that cookie or pizza or whatever. It's done. I can't. But I still can make my friend the most amazing cookies that the world has ever known. Those are <laughs> the Levine, the Levine, Levine Bakery Dark Chocolate Chip Cookies. Seb, happy birthday. Just every year, new membrane and start. <laughs> Oh, Kelly style chocolate. Ding! <laughs> and it's, it's the best wine I ever taste in my life. Nice. Yeah, but yeah, but the old Kelly style wine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the best. Yeah, it's the best in the world. Imagine the chocolate and the wine together. Oh. Together. Oh. If you buy, if you buying two. You get a fishing lure. Yeah. Oh, a fish. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, the Oakley's fishing lure. It's, oh it's the old lure. Oh, I'm a famous. I have the Oakley uh, sunglasses. <laughs> sunglasses. Oh, Oakley. <laughs> the Oakley. <laughs> Oakley sunglasses.
Leaving rack key cut. That's gonna be a little bouncy, but I don't think I don't think we have any danger here. Okay. Do you guys recognize that boat? Okay, so. We're coming into to Georgetown, Elizabeth Harbor, and I'm having this memory and this thought about Top Secret. And I thought, hey, weren't they coming up to the Bahamas? Where's Top Secret? And then Nick saw this boat and he's like, that's a weird looking boat. And as it got closer, I saw the little square on the bow and I said, is that Top Secret? And sure enough, two seconds later, they call us on the radio. That's okay, Rian, I didn't say it was a weird looking boat. <laughs> I said that that is not the usual looking catamaran. Right? I wasn't, I didn't say it looked weird. Sure. Top Secret's beautiful. Guys, I hope we catch up with you soon. I yeah. said, I felt Top Secret's energy in the vortex. The vortex. Before they, they called us on the radio, I was feeling their vibes. And I haven't heard from them in a long, long time. Wow. That's, That's amazing. So Weird. It's hard to believe. It's true though. Thanks a lot for joining us. We are gonna try and film this at the desk. Yet another cold front has caught up with us. Can't wait to show you next week's video. There's the best beach in the world. Yeah, it's off the charts. You have never seen a beach like we're gonna show you next week. Thanks, as always, to you lovely, lovely patrons, but thanks to all of you, anybody willing to tolerate us for 20 minutes. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. See you next week.